Hey everybody, so I've got a little bit of a story to tell. Um, this goes back to my days when I was finishing up my studies in Italy and Rome. And I had a professor who, um, it was very difficult for me to understand him. Um, and for a long time, I, I just presumed that I wasn't smart enough to understand him because every once in a while, he would drop these nuggets in his lectures that were absolutely brilliant. But then the rest of the time, it was just kind of gibberish to me. And I was thinking for a long time, my gosh, like, I, I just, it must be on me. Like, this guy's really smart, and it's clear because he drops these nuggets. Well, you know, as it turns out, about five years after the fact, as I was just kind of randomly reflecting on my time in Rome and at this university, at the Gregorian, I came to the realization of, no, like, this guy was just a bad teacher. And... The brilliant nuggets that he was dropping, I mean, they were good, but like the guy's pedagogy was just terrible. Um, and who knows really in terms of like the the organization in his thought, like how all that worked or anything like that. I'm not naming names obviously because I don't want you to trash this particular individual. I'm using this as an example just to say, you know, be careful of a couple of things. Number one, be careful of those whom you admire and you set up on pedestals because they might not be as good as you think they are, number one. Number two, um, if you don't understand something, you know, it's worth clarifying it if you're in a position to do it. In some cases, it's, it's on you, like you're not getting it. In other cases, it's because what is being expressed to you is in fact not clear. All this to say, in this, in this world in which we find ourselves right now where all sorts of information is swirling around us and all sorts of people have all sorts of different opinions, it's worth figuring out who the experts actually are. And some of the people you might think are experts are not actually the experts that they seem to be. Mm -hmm. um, number one. And then number two, uh, clarification is just good. Communication is good. Making sure that you know what is being talked about is a good thing. And in humility, it's worth acknowledging the real possibility that you're not getting it and it's on you. But you know what? At times, the lack of clarity is not on you at all. It's just because somebody's just unclear and their thoughts are a jumble and that's not your fault. So, you know, clarification. That's a good thing. Heroes are a good thing, but having good, good heroes, that's even better. God bless you all. You have a good day.